Welcome back. Satisfactory. I am so glad you're here. For today, we'll just have a nice... Like, our main base is here. And we're north of our main base. We're going to pick up this ports, integrate, or at least get to the point where we're making a nice ports crystal and silica factory. Sorry, I was trying to make a plan. We do have water over here, so we don't want to build that way, but we definitely want to give our our new base a little bit of structure here. Good to me. Maybe we'll bring it together like that on a corner. Once we have it, we lift it up. bring that together well let's see where do we want to where do we want to build this factory but just keep going straight off the cliff here we'll have to come back once we can fly to make it supported of an intense build. Probably don't need to lift it if that's the case. Let's do that. Let's just put the quartz right on this line right here. But in order to make that really good, we need to have some foundation. I, if, I suddenly feel like I'm on the edge of the map here. like the edge. We're just near the void. I, I somehow always seem to find a way to find the edge of the map. This game. thrown down some good foundation and get us going and we need this is our center point 
one more. Alright. This is the literal center of the building. At least this is where our awesome orcs will enter. Wall. Barrier wall, too. This is just a bunch of foundation. And then we will put this foundation in over here. up to collect straightforward right just get <laughs> my goodness holy airball that so my question is I need to widen this just a little bit because what I want I want a splitter no I want a merger in the middle like this and then I want splitter Like this, and one on this side. It goes over. It goes over. And each of these feed. Like. Okay. And then maybe we'll do the first one on this side of the world. Let's give ourselves a little bit of wall. Well, production, constructor. Two more, I think.
Their wall. We'll go. Chew up is a. This is a basic build at this point. Though we are trying to achieve some relatively complex things with. Them. We want both of these miners to source both sides of the build. At all times. Now the question is, where does this lift go? Souls two. Let's see up here. We need to split, lift and split, right? trying to decide if I want to go I want to try a little bit of a balanced approach like this And we'll put down a construct door. Yes. Let's see. Let's build a line. Let's clear one. I don't know. Two. be able to go one on each side and maybe one more line to collect the good stuff I wanted 10, 10 miners on each side. If I build it like this, though, I should probably just go to 12. The upside to that, by going to 12, is if one side overloads, then the other side can pick up some of the raw material. Is this all I need this for? I could just build everything up there. I would make it super simple. Just lift up once. Connect here on every third one.
almost did the whole thing on one belt. Let's see if we can get this lined up. Easy to build. Wait a minute. This isn't lined up right. Let's extend this a little bit. This on here. I put two of these on this one. It's totally unnecessary. some weird stuff here. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's start this a little bit. Material cup, you know what? We are gonna take a little bit of an intermission and we're gonna connect all this stuff up. The power. Luckily, I have power close by. We're gonna use this as a little bit of a break. Ah, so this already tells me that I'm doing this wrong. And that's a joy. We can't squeeze. So this is a normal node. At max capacity, max speed, fully overclocked on a Mark III, it'll generate 600. Yeah, I'm going to start over. 
It'll gen it'll generate 600 ore per minute. Got two of them. That's 1,200 ore. So we need to be able to insert or do some injection. 1,200 ore per minute is more per minute than the fastest current belt available to us. We're going to start mostly over. We're going to recognize that there was a reason. Eh, there was a reason that we wanted to do a lift. So we'll lift it up into a splitter. which will take us each direction. One side for silica, one side for crystals. Okay. Then over here, we will take for a minute here. Ah, uh, this is a merger. I want a splitter. Okay, so it comes up, it's split, and we can do half on this side. Now, there's two things I could do here. I could do... what I'm currently thinking, which is split this close. Okay, then we'll go out one more step for constructor. Other side will do the same thing. Might not be able to squeeze in the I'm gonna have to move my ladder. All right, so this side, we're gonna make this the silica side. And then we're gonna make this its crystal side. Just like that. Now, how do we inject more? Let's build three more of these. 
One. I think the answer is to just... We want to split this here. Drop a hole here. That like that. I think we're on it now. Yeah, I had the plan, but for half a second there, I lost my reasoning. You gotta maintain your why. And in this case, we're planning for a significant amount of potential additional raw quartz. I said what, this was the silica side? This is the quartz crystal side. This side is using 37 and a half per minute. This side is using 22 and a half per minute. This side exactly 60. We want to split here. Ooh, this whole plan could be in trouble. We're merging in. And it comes out. We have to immediately split it. And lift it back up. Yes, this is correct now. Now this hole, we are going to split all nice and connected now one thing we want to do well let's get this going before we worry about this 
I have sort of a advanced plan here. Which is basically going to re-inject after every lift. So right now, each one of these is using 60. 22.5 on this side and 37.5 on this side. 37.5 plus 22.5. Okay, that's 60. So each one of these is 60. Currently we have six in place. So that's 60 times six, which is pretty straightforward. 360. Our max usage is 1200. I want to send all this good stuff back down this line. Can I get an industrial right here? Oh, I need a steel beam. this back down the line. Connecting that into that and that into that. Maybe we'll give ourselves a sense of power connection. Sorry, I know I'm jumping around a little bit right now. Sometimes you can put a power pole on a splitter, and sometimes you can't. This appears to be one of those sometimes you can't situations. I wonder if I pull this here. Oh, interesting. If I try to build the power pole by itself, it's a no-go. But if I pull it using the power line, then it works. One connection short. Gotta build it then upgrade it, then connect it. Oh, it's already connected.
Okay. We're like halfway done. Each one of these is 60, and we're shooting for what, 1200? So we need 20. That's a lot. We'll do, what, half of that? And then if we find out that we absolutely need more, we'll come back. But we have nine. We'll do one more of these. And then we'll call it. I don't think we need a f I don't think we need to fully exploit the belt. We could do it and then just throw the rest into the awesome sink, but we're running low on power now as it stands. So we'll do one more. Splitter. And we want to lift it straight into the splitter. And we want each splitter to have its own. Sub splitter. Let's upgrade this pole. We'll set you to... I think you're on the quartz crystals, right? Probably don't want to fall off. So I guess as long as I'm at full health, I shouldn't die, but it'll be a heck of a trek getting back up. the product here.
don't know. You get used to building with all kinds of blueprints and fancy techniques. Kind of nice to come back to the basics for a minute. Let's build a factory by hand. Yeah, this is compressing on the belt, so it should be fine. This is expanding on the belt. Ah, but we're taking half of it anyway, so it'll be fine. Oh, hold on. Almost done. I think these last ones we have to hook up to the raw material. So these are going to come in, and what I want to do is actually scoot around this one. So this fully comes in here, splits into here, and also splits and goes around. It goes in there. And whatever's left goes down the line fully as well. This way we have multiple connections and injections. So if we ever fill up on silica, but not the quartz crystals, both machines can still supply one side of the factory. Kind of getting close to done here.
these belts can handle it. Yeah, we're getting it. They're working it. They're working through the backlog there a little bit. Now, how do I get upstairs? Oh, we have to also work this injection concept. What we'll do is on the middle down here, we'll put in a glitter. And right here, we'll put another splitter in. On the belt here. Holding down control. Merger. Another merger. On the middle, the splitter, and then on this one, another splitter. There we go. So now, all sections of this factory are supplied at all times by both machines. So if we get like really full on silica, because we're likely to fill up on silica first, then So if this side fills up, then both sides come in, both sides split, and then they merge back in to the line. So it's self-injecting as well. And that way we can go above the quote unquote standard one belt limit. Now I think it's time Decorate. It would be nice to give ourselves a little bit of an edge. But here's what we're going to do. We're going to go with walls. Four meter wall. Oh, that's not the corner, though, is it? Actual corner is here. the bottom we'll just make it solid okay now we have to build the build this first and then see if we can put the corner on it And it's only like, it's like it works best on the blueprint.
Got it. Just got to get the order of operations correct. Do I want that eight? Yes. In this case, I definitely want the eight. What if I just put a door right here? And then a wall. Just a regular wall. Really don't want to fall off the edge here. Probably stop talking about not falling off the edge and do something to prevent falling off. through concrete. Let's see if we have any locally stored. Excuse me. No concrete whatsoever. E exactly what I was talking about. Put a bunch of panels in. Two dead. What's next on this? This way? But over here? way do I want to go? Either way, it's going to be kind of a cut diamond situation.
Yeah, I think this is pretty cool, actually. All right, give me a second. I'm going to grab some re more building resources. I'll be right back. And we are back. I don't think I'm going to uh, subject you to the building of all of this. All right? I think we've made our point. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to build some of this. It's got a nice wide range to not fall off of. We've got a nice protective railing so it won't fall off which is always good when you're building above an abyss there's a serious z fight happening here not sure why So I built that side. That's just how it's working. Kind of this down arrow motif. Right? And on the front. Let's just put some windows in on the front. the front simple. That's going to have to be... a conveyor of hole anyway. Get the material out of here. At some point. Let's go ahead and do that. Maybe both of them. Exactly. And now we need a way to climb up. Do I dare? Walk straight in this way. Slightly different situation on this side, though. Yeah, I think we have to take this 
take this up. And this. And then fiddle the ramp that we had. getting locked in here. What else did I miss? Oh, the ports. a funky angle but it makes the building a little better I ended up with a lot of quartz in my inventory dump some of that out about that all right so now let's finish off this facade and call it shall we Which way I turn, this miner is in the way. It's just in the way. Eh, you know what? Doesn't have to be symmetrical. There you go. We'll come back and put a roof on it later. 
next time when we need unlimited silica or quartz crystals we'll come back and extend this put a roof on it and call it a day I'm kind of liking the asymm asymmetry now alright so there you go that's a quartz factory quartz crystal factory silica factory both are being properly supplied. Plenty of room for expansion. Um, when the time comes, we can hook these ports up to connect it to the rest of our production. But for now, when we need it, we just jump on here, grab a few quartz crystals, jump over here, grab a little silica, we're good to go. Not bad. Actually, let's, let's see if we can close this off just a little bit. Maybe one more wall. All right. I think we're there. My builds are starting to look a little cooler. Very orange, though. Should probably start picking some colors. Other than that, thanks for hanging out. I do appreciate it. And we'll see you next time.